I'm Alana Shepard. We're at the Shepard Center. I had the privilege of being a co-founder here. Of course, we started out with just spinal cord injury. We had some people who had a both spinal cord and a brain injury. So we now started taking brain injury patients. We had all the pieces in place to treat MS patients and we're the largest um, MS center in the Southeast. We don't pay any attention to what other people are doing or saying, we just go far. <laughs> COVID has been impacting everyone in the country, of course, but we've managed. We're looking forward to having you back, but in the meantime, I'm gonna show you some of the things about Shepherd that you probably didn't know. And I think you're gonna be amazed, so come on, let's go. This is my granddaughter, Julie Shepard. She's a case manager here. So Julie, you've got him all dressed up. Did he pick out his own collar today? Of course. Of course, and his bow tie. Very smart dog, very smart. This is an ICU. Any patient with a ventilator that admits will come through the ICU first to rehab, even if it's just overnight for stabilization. And then once um, the pulmonary internal medicine team thinks they're ready, then we can bump out to the floor to medical level of care for more therapy. She's monitoring 52 people throughout both buildings. That's amazing. All right, we'll go over here and see one of the rooms. So the rooms are large, as you can see, but another thing that makes it nice that we have our own ICU. If somebody that's on the floor gets very sick all of a sudden, they can be in our ICU with staff who knows how to care for them, and they're, they're more relaxed because they know that the staff knows what to do about them. Patient rooms are important. They need to feel like home, so we let them put up anything and everything they want. Their friends send them messages. They have pictures of their dogs, and you'll notice the red call button for the nurse. A very important part so that they know that even if they leave the room and go down the hall, he can get the attention of the nursing staff. And he's not in here because it's during the day and we want him out of the room. We want him leading a normal life and building up to the 17 hour day that all of us spend. How many times have you been on the bike? Oh, I don't know, good half a dozen maybe. I love it. We have 11 gems. We're not gonna see them all, but we're gonna see a lot of them. These lifts are over every mat table and every bed in the hospital. It is kind of a holistic care uh, method where families are involved in really assisting in the rehab process the minute they walk through the door. Your head is your anchor, so go ahead and drop yourself a little bit more forward. Nice, Jeff. We have wheelchair seating, and that, of course, is for our patients. That's vitally important that they have the right chair and the right cushion but it's also available to anybody in the community. And the chairs are made of everything. We even have camouflage chairs for those people who want to hunt with balloon tires <laughs> if you live in the country. This is assistive technology. Now I want to introduce you to Adina, who is a speech therapist, and she's in charge of this lab. She's also a techie, although she might deny it. But believe me, she knows more about this stuff than I do. Our goal for all of this fun equipment in here is to help the patients do whatever tasks they want to do prior to their injury. And we talk to them about what their current functioning is and maybe the progress that they'll make while they're here. And we figure out solutions for them. This is an example of one of our eye gaze devices. As you see, my head's moving back and forth. And what happens is my eyes become the mouse. So anywhere I look, there's a circle around there. So if I want to open Firefox, I look at Firefox. So essentially anything you'd be able to do with your hands, you can do with this eye gaze. After you graduate, you would move into the apartments and enter the day program. It's much more strenuous than the inpatient program, but you couldn't have done it three weeks ago. So you'll see people doing things that they wouldn't do in the other gyms when they're more newly injured. Let's go on in there, see what's going on. Okay. So Ronnie here is doing a great job. First time on the treadmill. Oh, good kind for you. challenging him to even out his steps between his left side and his right side, his left side being a little bit weaker. But they have a leg trainer on each side of him. You're working very hard, and they're going to have to stop and change sides because they're going to get fatigued before Ronnie does. The locomat is a robotic treadmill. And even if you couldn't move a muscle, you could walk for an hour. 
We harness people up in it, and then we can direct the body weight support that we give them while they're in the device. Puts them in a good position, holds their um, pelvis in a good position, as well as getting that uh, simulated stepping pattern. It's a great tool. We use it quite a bit. Um, we use it probably four to six hours every day. Hi, how are you? I'm doing well. Are you? Oh, you are doing well. Good. You like this? Yes, ma'am. I love it. <laughs> You're getting returned, I hope. I've got some muscles. My quads are firing. I can move some toes. Very uh, hopeful for That's what's great. to come in the future. Well, hard work gets you there for yes, sure. <laughs> and a good therapist. This is the driving clinic, which is offered to our patients and former patients but also anybody in the community that needs a, uh, an evaluation. And it's the most comprehensive thing. I've taken it myself. It's a two hour test. One hour is in here with cognitive memory, reaction time, and then you have an hour of driving in Buckhead and on the interstate with your driver instructor. And they do not sign off unless you have passed it. This is the pool. As you can see, it's fabulous. It's the only hospital pool in the country that has a deep end, and we did it for scuba classes. So they get certified here, and then they go to Florida or someplace further out for the deep dive. The chair at this end is hydraulic, and you can operate it yourself if you have some hand motion. It swings around and lowers you into the pool, and you get back on it, and it picks you up and brings you back up here. But there's also an overhead lift to get you onto this shelf where a therapist can get you in the water and work with you or get further down in the water. If you're able to walk some, you can go down the steps. This is our sports gym. And as you can see, it's a multi-purpose place. But it, I want to point out that the balcony is a real track and the turns are banked. So if you're using a racing chair, you don't have to lose your speed, but it's flat right by the railing. So it's a wonderful place for a, a track for exercise. A lot of times when I meet a patient for the first time, it's I, I talk about the kind of sports they play and they always kind of revert back to, well, I used to play football, I used to play basketball. And uh, one of the things I like to focus on is just, I mean, it's not a used to, is you still play basketball, you still play these sports, you're just gonna play in a little bit different of a way. And they can regain that love for it or introduce them to a totally different sport and they find an even greater love for their new sport. Arranging from the hand cycling, wheelchair, basketball, quad rugby, power soccer, you name it, uh, I'm fortunate to get to do it. And you don't have to be a former Shepherd patient to join any of these teams. It's anybody in the community with a, a mobility problem or a disability of some sort is welcome to join. We have all these chairs to loan the, the former patients and the patients so that they don't have to invest in a chair until they know what sport they really want to play. He's on an exoskeletal device, which is really a robotic braces. And they've improved it. I mean, every time the engineers come, They've, they have another trick that it can do or will do or they've improved it. This is the Woodruff family residence. Anybody who lives more than an hour away gets 30 days of housing. And this is Victoria, who is the manager for our apartments, and we're thrilled to have her. We have 84 units here. They are fully accessible. We provide everything. All they have to bring are their personal even, co even cookbooks. Even cookbooks. Thank you, Miss <laughs> Shepard. So it's fully furnished with the basics, but as you can see, pots, pans, plates, full knife sets, cookbooks, so the families can actually do their own cooking. We are in the multiple sclerosis waiting room. Dr. Ben Thrower is the director. We are one of the most comprehensive MS centers in the United States. We offer rehabilitation, research, wellness programs, things that you could find pieces of in other MS centers, but it's awfully hard to find it all in one place. In this building is the SHARE program for the military veterans who have had concussions, who have PTSD. Over 600 men and women have been treated here. A lot of our clients um, come to us after they've tried a lot of other attempts at treatment. We spend a lot of time on getting to know them, on working with them, on really developing that relationship. And it isn't uncommon for clients after midway through their first week of treatment to, to look up and say, you know, I've learned more about what's going on with me in the past three days than I've known in the past four or five years. This is Shepherd Pathways. It is an 80 patient facility for brain injury aftercare. When they've graduated from our main program on the main campus, they no longer need nursing care. They come here to continue their therapy. 
and anything they may need is available just like it was when they were in the, the main hospital. No one else in the Southeast has this program, this continuum of care, so we're thrilled to be able to offer it. Thank you for joining me today on this tour. I think now you have an idea of the scope of what we do and why we are a leader in this field. We're so proud to be doing research and exceptional care. Whenever you support the Shepherd Center, you are a part of it, and we're so pleased to have you. Thanks.